uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, I think this uh, second land conference is really timely, timely in the fact that uh, it comes uh, in a moment where people are looking into this uh, social, environmental and uh, economic impact of COVID-19 and how best we can fix our society and our economy uh, because this COVID has led uh, into kind of uh, increased inequality and we need to look at uh, different and innovative way of uh, resolving you know, this inequality in our society. And on that, land has a huge role to play in terms of enabling uh, element to economic recovery. Uh, but also we have been talking about you know, this housing aspect, uh, which has been central uh, to the response to COVID-19. And today we cannot talk about housing without talking about access to land and then security. And we know that uh, we have many people, whether in the Arab region or in Africa, sub Saharan, which has in a very precarious situation and living in informal settlement. So this conference, I think this is a, an opportunity to reflect what is a good way to link those, uh, you know, fundamental area for human being and the land management and administration system, uh, including access uh, to decent uh, housing, to decent livelihood system and others. So as long as a, a session on land and conflict is concerned, I think that this is a new, another perspective we can take uh, because uh, uh, this COVID-19 is the impact uh, on uh, livelihood system will increase competition around resources, financial resources, natural resources, but also around land resources, uh, which become a scare, especially in the context of Arab region where we have desertifications, where we have uh, climate change now, and a lot of factors they lead to further competition. So this conference could be, I think, a leeway to really uh, discuss uh, the best way we can support uh, decision makers. Uh, we can support policy, especially in those uh, post-conflict uh, countries, uh, to better, you know, develop a sound system to capture the value of land in a way that can help us reduce inequalities, but at the same time allow us to bring back the economy in the right track. I think those are some considerations which are very important on the perspective of only UN Habitat. And we would like to thank the partnership between uh, World Bank, UN Habitat, uh, Dubai Land Department, and the government of, uh, of, of, uh, of Egypt, and including GRTN as well. Over.